Uh, hi friends back with another video in this uh, video we are going to learn about the uh, cutoff train uh, uh, we will understand the cutoff train concept and we will uh, design a demo case and uh, we will use the software tool uh, called Hydra flow that is extension of uh, seal 3d uh, to design the cutoff train channel uh, which is uh, going to connect to this uh, mainstream or the Nala drain which is outside uh, which is located outside of the uh, of the the watershed or catchment okay so let's uh, uh, consider the case okay so here you have a catchment okay so here you have catchment and uh, <coughs> In this uh, catchment, all of the water uh, mm, from the substream will discharging into this uh, uh, outlet point. Okay, so in this within this ca <coughs> natural drainage or uh, catchment, so we are going to propose the uh, uh, propose the land development project. Okay, so this is the location of the land development project. Uh, so this is the approximate location of that uh, land development uh, project. Okay. Uh, so due to this land development uh, project which is uh, uh, which is on the downstream of this natural drainage system so all of the water which is from the upstream of this catchment will eventually uh, impact and uh, uh, effect in the flooding uh, surrounding this uh, uh, proposed de land development project okay so, so this is my land development project which is uh, on it is uh, located on the downstream of my uh, the watershed natural drainage okay and here uh, so i want to propose a, a flood mitigation plan such a way that this uh, <coughs> this land developments are uh, uh, free from uh, floods okay so that is my objective okay so to do that so i need to propose some strategy so my strategy would be as i mentioned earlier that is cut off train okay so what i do here is that um so here i will propose a uh, the lateral drain uh, perpendicular sorry the parallel to the boundary of this uh, uh, la proposed land parcel so it is something like this okay so this is my uh, alignment okay so this is my alignment of that cut off drain and finally it is uh, discharge in it to this uh, nearest uh, nala which is uh, located which is uh, outside the limit of the um, uh, this uh, natural drainage catchment limit okay and we have to check the elevations whether we can uh, meet that elevation uh, so that it should be in the down slope and so that we can uh, divert that uh, um, uh, offside drainage so um, offside drainage from the uh, uh, upstream of this uh, natural drainage flow runoff so we can divert that uh, through this nearby ch nala or the stream which is uh, located outside the catchment limit so th we should check the contours okay so here i have the kind of some contours you can say example case uh, here near this uh, near to this land parcel area i have the uh, elevation of 105 meters so this is a test case example case and uh, on this nala invert level which is at around uh, uh, 102 meters okay so what i can do here uh, is that i can provide a cutoff drain i can propose a cutoff drain and i can easily um, connect this cutoff drain to this nala okay since uh, the elevation uh, the nala is at lower elevation and we can allow it to flow through the gravity flow towards this uh, nala or the stream okay so whatever the flow comes from the upstream of this catchment okay this is oh, sorry just make some pencil tool okay so whatever the flow which is generated from this uh, upstream of this catchment will will be will be catered by this uh, offside drainage this offside drain okay so this is my offside drain the red color uh, align is the alignment of the offside drain so all this water get collected and it will going to discharge to the uh, nala okay if i draw this cross section longitudinal profile of this cutoff drain it looks like the, like this uh, here um rather that here okay the longitudinal profile 
so here and some there's some drop will be there and it will finally reaches to this nala uh, no. so this is my nala nala or the stream okay nala or stream and uh, this is my cut off drain cut off drain okay so this is my nala drain and this is my cut off drain and hfl as i mentioned earlier it is at 102 something okay the hfl is at 102 as i mentioned earlier this is at 102 meters this is at 102 meters and the ground level uh, of this uh, uh, sorry the near, nearby ground level is this cut off drain is at 105 meters okay so we can easily convey this uh, uh, for divert this flow through this uh, gravity network okay so the so here it if I draw that here, so uh, yes. So whatever the runoff which is generated, it got intercepted from this uh, um, uh, cutoff drain, which is located perpendicular to direction of this uh, natural drainage flow. Okay, and it is going to discharge to this nala or the stream. So this is the uh, longitudinal profile, and this is the plan view of that uh, cutoff drain. Okay. So here uh, we will going to design this uh, cutoff drain like what should be the size of this cutoff drain based on our uh, Manning's equation. So that is the Manning's so it will uh, will solve this Manning's equation uh, to find the the uh, the uh, the design the uh, the hydraulic uh, hydraulic design of this cutoff drain like uh, weights of the channel, what should be the longitudinal slope and the uh, depth of the channel section so we'll going to propose a trapezoidal section for this uh, cutoff drain okay so this is the cutoff drain uh, 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 section which is we are going to propose okay so it will be concrete trapezoidal section which is going to we will going to propose so that we can uh, intercept this offside drainage so that our uh, proposed uh, land development project should be free from flood okay so this will uh, do um, yeah, this uh, design in the next part of the video where so that so for that we will use the uh, hydra flow software which is uh, extension of the civil 3d to design this cutoff drain so thank you for watching and see you soon in next part of this video bye